we're working on bow hand flexibility, and we're talking about the, the word colle, which is a French word, C-O-L-L-E. All of our bow stroke words come from French because the French violinists were the first people to label all of the things. Colle is a motion and a bow stroke. So a kind of a sound that we make with our bow. So our first exercise is just with the bow in the air, check that we have a good fulcrum, which means that the thumb and the middle two fingers are together, not spread apart with the middle two fingers below or above the thumb, they're right together. And we want a little bit of space between ring finger and pinky, a little bit of space between the middle finger and the index finger. So once those are set, then we're gonna make this motion go down, up, or it could feel out, in. Notice that the forearm is not part of this, or the wrist, it's just coming from the fingers and the knuckles. Up, down, up, down. Be sure to keep checking that you have your fulcrum together and the spacing between the middle fingers and the outer fingers. So if you do about 10 of those, once those become easy, you want to be able to remove the index finger and do those, making sure that the thumb returns to its bendy position when we're done with the up motion. Out, in, or down, up. Okay, once you've done those little scrunchies in the air, um, and sometimes it can help to just gently have practice help holding our forearm so that we're not using our forearm with that. The second one is to put the bow on the E very close to the index finger, so right at the frog. And the sound that this makes, that the cole makes, is, uh, I think of it as dit, dit. It's like the bow catches the string and then releases it. So it's like when it makes that sound. So we're putting it on the E and we're gonna make the down motion and the up motion. It could also feel out, in. Really check that thumb returns to the bent position with the knuckle touching the hair at the end of the up motion. After that becomes easy, you can try doing it without the index finger on the bow. And the bow is really only moving about as much as a, a little blueberry on the string, okay? Holding the forearm again to making sure that the, the fingers and the knuckles are making the motion. Okay, after we do that and that becomes fluid, then we're gonna practice making circles in the air. So you catch the string, and first we're gonna make down circles. The bow releases on the down, and then we're gonna circle back in the air, land, catch, release. Circle, land, catch, release. Circle, land, catch, release. Good. Now after you make the down motion, or out, now we're gonna catch on the up. So notice how the fingers are more straight. They're, they're flexed out. The thumb is flexed out a little bit. The knuckle is not touching the hair. Now we're gonna catch up, catch, release. Circle down, catch, release, circle down. And those are our three exercises. So the one is the scrunchies in the air. The two is the bow staying on the string for that little dit sound, the, the k. And the three is making the circles with the catch on the down and the circles with the catch on the up.